Justin Haley, and welcome to episode 12. to 1,500. We had head out over the practice area and uh, get these uh, speeds and set rates and stuff established. So instrument training has been pretty challenging, not gonna lie. It has been a process. Even with my private pilot license, it's been a process. And I know that throughout getting all of my ratings, it's going to be a process. And it's just about how I keep moving forward. So I'm in the beginning stages of my flight training. And right now I'm learning how to do controlled turns, descents, and climbs. I'm learning how to establish a speed at a certain power setting at a certain altitude while maintaining a heading, which is very challenging at first, but I eventually get it. Just technique, that's nice. You're climbing at the best rate of climb. That's good, you know, for departure. This is my instructor, Rick. He's had a very successful career in aviation. What did you use to fly before? Like, what's the coolest thing you've done in aviation? Oh my goodness. I've flown the DC-9, MD-80, 737, T-33, F-101, F-106, F-4, F-5, F-16. And what's the biggest secret you have in aviation? <laughs> it's still secret. Because <laughs> <laughs> once we establish these speeds, um, there's an old saying, if you aim at nothing, you'll hit it. So we're going to aim at something. So we're going to aim at like a, you know, these different speeds so that we can maintain Oh, good control of the airplane without having to look at it all the time. Okay, might as well put the foggles on. So these glasses I'm putting on are called foggles and they prevent me from looking outside of the airplane. Because when I fly in and out of clouds, I need to be able to rely only on my instruments. Okay, That's right, right here, your airplane, you have the controls, okay? My controls. Right. Again, your, your limits in IFR are plus minus 100 feet, okay? So, if you're 50 feet off, you, I want to see it correctly, okay? Don't let it get... Far off, very far off. So it just means the cross check. You're, you're fine right now. Okay. Okay. Let's turn left, heading of 180. Okay. Left 180. 1,500 and 100 knots. And kind of just, kind of just in and out, you know, and it'll, it'll change on you. Okay. All right. I'm gonna write this down. We're at, we're at 100 knots, and we're level. Okay, and we're clean, a clean airplane, so what's the RPM? RPM 20, is 23. Okay, 23. So we're going to check that later on. We're going to do a bunch of stuff, and we'll come back to 2300 RPM and see what happens. But okay, let's slow it down to 80 knots. Okay. Heading, heading 180, don't let the heading get off. 180, 1500, pull the power back to like 2000. 2000 usually works for the pattern for 80 knots. It should work here for 80 knots. Okay, land traffic, pipeline, helicopter taking off from Gulf Taxiway, Wait, over flying the runway, low level, departing the area to the northeast, Pearland. So first get to 80 knots and then adjust the yeah. RPM? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it looks like it needs less than 1900 RPM in this airplane. Or 1900, 1900. Close up, trim, get back up to altitude. 50 feet, you should consider a lot. If you're off 50 feet, you're off a lot. Okay. So start thinking, I'm getting ready to bust a check ride. Okay? And look at me, plus or minus 10 degrees. And uh, we're going towards it. Oh, tower. It's my job, I'm supposed to be looking for that. That's real high. It's just easy. Taking half ball movements. Okay. Hey, there's your speed. Pull the power back to 2300. Let's see if that works. Trim it out. Ooh. Let go. Let go. Oh, see. Trim. Full swipe of trim. That, well, that was a lot of trim. Okay, let go. Still need just a little more trim. A uh, half inch. Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're fine tuning now. Okay. All right. Uh, you got twenty, roughly twenty-three hundred, and that would be nineteen hundred RPM for 
80 knots. 150, I mean, a little bit of heading there, a little bit of altitude, yeah. I think um, you, you went right back down, down. so uh, if you, whatever it takes to hold that out to the uh, north. Cluster. Okay. That power, you're slowing down. You're low and slow, so it takes just a touch of power. So you need to raise the nose up a little bit, and probably a little bit of trim, just half inch of trim maybe. That's funny. One five zero heading. One five zero. Lots to think about, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Keep you busy, you already. Oh yeah. Okay. So busy. There's one five zero on the heading. One five zero. Uh, Fairland Tower. Uh, Fairland Tower. Three seven eight. Uh, <laughs> okay. Runway three two one. And climb at seventy five. Back up. Let's turn back. Uh, heading north. Yeah, we don't want to go to Cancun today. Well, maybe you do, but... Have you flown to Cancun? Uh, in the airline. Oh, wow. Yeah, and these are targets. Oh, look at, we got clouds, don't we? Let's see. Uh, I've got the airplane for a second. We got a cloud here, we got to get around. You don't care because you're in the foggles, right? So that last one that we did at 80 knots, 10 degrees, 450 feet a minute, 1,600 pounds, minus dot and a half, would be an ILS, a glide path. Three degree fly path. We'll have to review that. We will. 80 knots, 3000, 330. In your readings, you'll probably see something in the effect of uh, vertical S's and, and profile A, profile B. That, that's what you're doing is you, they'll have you climb at 500, 500 feet at 500 feet a minute, then descend at 500 feet at fi, 500 feet per minute, plus or minus 500, you know, 500 feet, going up and down like this. Then I need to go up 500 feet a minute, get that up for 500 feet, and then and be turning when you do it, up and down while you're turning. And uh, just that's just to get you to establish these numbers quickly while you're in doing an instrument approach, because you're going to be doing holding, you're going to be descending the holding pattern, you'll be climbing the holding pattern. To remind myself that I, I need to not feel so bad about myself. I think it's just so important to remember that, like, why I'm doing this in the first place, and and to remember that, like, I am worthy of what I'm working towards, and um, and that I I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna put this radio. I'm not gonna use it, okay, unless we're doing something crazy. Okay. If you can hear me flare or keep your legs so I can see that you're listening to me, just in case. Okay. Hopefully this is my last currency jump. I'm currently at 46 jumps and I really want to get to 200 jumps so that I can jump out with my own camera and of course by then I'll have a couple of ratings under my belt. But right now I'm really embracing like just this pure fun of skydiving, jumping and and also doing a little bit of team building later on and yeah, it's I'm just enjoying it. Like it's just amazing to even do this. It's incredible. If you told 13 year old me that I'd be jumping out of planes and flying planes, I would probably go to sleep so happy like every single night simply because of the anticipation of great things coming in the future. Kind of makes me think I might as well do that now because I know that more and more great things are coming regardless of how I think it's going to turn out.
Let him drag you out. Right? If we do that, I tell you to come in, boom, and we do it again. For the most part, though, I just want everybody flying their slot, quiet. So we're out. Try to keep your hands in front of you. That way, there, you got control. You just work on that fall rate. caught this but this guy I was skydiving with has an arrow on his head he mentioned how he wanted it to be blue but hey white arrow means he's in the spirit world no it's not over if you rewatch avatar last airbender as an adult you're like wow so many life lessons in here that are helping me right now <laughs> oh my gosh focus focus I want to jump later this week whenever they have the mentors there that way I can just take advantage of that until I get my 100 jumps and then after that just like jump my butt off until I reach 200 and that's when I can really do the really fun stuff so yeah but now I'm getting a smoothie I'm, I'm tired for the day Okay, so this is literally a $4 drink right here from LA Fitness. Like, you can't even beat that right here. You look like you're having fun. Always. Every cut out. Find yourself, you were not as much successful or not as much expressing yourself. Mm -hmm. But now you're a different person, a different yeah, group. Yeah, I like becoming a different version of myself. Thing. Dude, you find yourself now you talking differently. You find yourself now you're smiling differently. You find yes. yourself you laughing a lot. Now and then you, you come back to them. You you'll probably talk to them like years down the line. And then or you maybe find them miserable. So uh. like, not not <laughs> as bad as miserable. Meet Salmon like the fish. I'm not cool enough to skydive with him yet because he does like wingsuit flying. But here's one of the examples of why I love the skydiving community. You can make friends with anybody, talk about life and inspiring adventures. Every time I come here, I always meet somebody new and just really always, there's always some interesting conversation going on. Same person, they might be not necessarily better or worse. It's just like, how, how are you different? I mean, you're gonna change regardless. So 10 years from now, you come back, you look better, you look better more pretty, you act smarter, and you make positive decisions, you look fitter, you have experience in your disciplines, mm -hmm. you'll find them stuck in the same thing. So that's why I emphasize on being single a lot, because um, for me that's like the best, I mean some people, you might get in a relationship with somebody that will help you become better, and that's great. For me, I have to like be alone. That is the only reason my focus gets making broken. excited for the relationship. It's gonna push me to be a better version every single day. That's how I feel about it. That was interesting. Go find it. Yeah. It's all good. No. What is that for? That, is that uh, you're not looking for it? Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I always say that when people tell me you'll find it. Listen, looking. I'm not looking. Yeah, yeah, if you head. think I'm looking, I'm far from that. You chase after the things that are running away from you. If you're looking at something, well, it's running away from you. If you know that you're wise enough. If you believe that you're pretty enough, if you, if you believe that you're intelligent enough, you'll be attracting good things in your life and not running after them. You only run after the things that you cannot get and most likely not get.
going to share as much of this process as I can with you guys. So um, let me know what you think of my videos. That would mean a lot. Yeah, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you like this video. So press like, make sure you subscribe, and uh, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.